Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hey guys, hope you're doing all right today. If you've never been here before, my name is Shannon and this is the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. And uh, I've been getting a lot of new subscribers as we're heading towards spring. Even though the weather is still pretty bad right here in North Texas today, I uh, felt guilty about getting all these new subscribers and not putting out any new videos for a long, long time. As you guys could be aware, you might not be aware if you're a new subscriber, I got pretty sick last year and uh, so I've been off for a while. Um, only problems I've got left now are my voice is still kind of weak. You know, that's what happens when you get in a barroom fight. And you get your throat cut like this, it, it kind of messes up your voice for a while. No, actually, that's not what happened. But, glad to be back here. Glad to be reporting again. We've moved our location indoors until uh, the fly bar gets straightened out again and cleaned off. It's had a several, several months off. And um, it's pretty cold outside. Today here in North Texas, it's probably 50 degrees with a 20 mile an hour wind. Besides all the things that happened last year, of course, you know, possibly, that uh, by reading the Texas Flycaster website at www.texasflycaster.com, you probably know that I have a skiff now. And uh, the timing of that wasn't the greatest as far as getting that and then getting sick and stuff like that. But this spring is going to be a good one here in North Texas with uh, what I see at the lakes and what I specialize in, which is fly fishing for carp. It's going to be an off-the-hook year, um, so stay tuned. Um, we're also going to have a video, probably have two or three in quick succession here, um, coming out on Friday, and it's uh, some kind of a candid video of Lefty Cray. It's his birthday on Friday, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, the guy looks great, doing great, 91. He'll be 92 on uh, this birthday, so... Uh, he's one of the greatest generation and a guy that I'm a huge fan of and I try to emulate um, in the way I do things. Um, of course, I don't always succeed, but, you know, getting better at it, I hope. If you're interested in fly casting lessons, I also do that. And I do what now I've coined the term the cray cast is my uh, my style of, of teaching and everything else is the lefty cray cast so think about that if you have never fly fished it's a really good way to get started is with with learning how to cast because it's probably one of the hardest things one of the things that stops people the most um, another video that's coming out will be on um, fly tying I have another website called pops fly shop and it's where I tie flies and sell flies uh, regularly and there are flies that you can't buy at the store and there are flies that actually catch fish and there are flies that actually have a warranty and they are unique unique is one of a kind so you won't find these elsewhere in this style or um, using the components that I use because uh, Folks in Africa and other countries who tie this stuff can't afford to uh, tie them the way I do. And mine sell for roughly the same price as theirs do. So they're tied by these hands right back there. So we'll be having some videos about fly tying and, and showing you some new colors and things like that this spring. I appreciate your watching. Stay tuned because the pace is going to be really picking up even though my I'm trying to bring my body along. and and uh, not my energy levels are such that uh, I actually have more energy than I have fuel um, I've lost about 40 pounds so it's a uh, it's a constant battle to put on weight when you're wanting to go 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 like I do thanks for watching the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel thanks for tuning into the website I'm sorry I haven't been on so long but now's the time and uh, I hope you enjoy uh, everything you see and uh, what we're getting ready to do this spring here in Texas and who knows where else we're going to go. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for watching this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks also goes out to the sponsors. If you need more information, be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And if you have any information about fly fishing in Texas, feel free to share it, and we'll be glad to get it on the report.